that I am rather puzzled in many ways by the noble Lord Newby's comments today. And I say to him, as somebody alongside many of my colleagues who campaigned extraordinarily hard to remain in the EU, and we do regret the decision that has been taken. I think the case has to be that not just the 52 per cent have to be represented, but the 48 per cent as well. And it has to be recognised by all in your Lordship's House that we have a duty to perhaps try and heal and unite where there has been division, and also for the government to recognise they have to act in the interests of the whole country. But during this debate, we have voted as a House on two extraordinarily important amendments. One on the position of EEA and EU nationals to remove some of the uncertainty that these people currently have regarding their position in the UK and our UK citizens have about their position in the EU. So that was one very serious amendment. The second one was the one we debated tonight on the issue of parliamentary sovereignty. And again, my Lords, in that case, a majority of 98. Both those amendments fulfilled the criteria of the role of your Lordship's House in asking the other place, the House of Commons, to reconsider. And the quality and the content of those debates provides considerable material for MPs to do so. And the reason we passed those amendments, my Lord, wasn't some kind of vanity exercise or just to make a point. We're not a debate in society. Well, we have our debates, and then afterwards we shrug off home, off to the pub, um, because we've made our point and have no thought about what happens next. This is really important. My Lord, what happens in this House is really important. So we passed those amendments as a House as, as a very serious reason, as part of our constitutional responsibilities. And, my Lords, I want to hear the House of Commons debate those issues. I want elected MPs to reconsider, and I hope they will accept our amendments and the principles behind them. And I'd be very happy to see the government, we've offered cooperation and help on this one, be very happy to see the government bring forward similar amendments to have effect and give effect to those. Because, my Lords, these amendments matter. And that's why I find the Liberal Democrat motion tonight absolutely incredible. The noble Lord Luby stood in your Lordship's house today and told us that he accepted the result of the referendum and the vote in the other place. But he failed to convince this House the second referendum was the right course of action at this time. And on the basis of that, as outlined in his motion, not about anything else, not about all the issues he talked about of hard Brexit, just on that one issue of that vote, Liberal Democrats are now prepared to vote against this whole bill to stop members of Parliament considering our amendments. My Lords, I find that irresponsible. And it may be that he feels OK, as he said, um, he can make a point about Brexit as a whole because we're not going to win the vote. Well, my Lords, responsibility isn't just about winning. It is about taking responsibility for our actions. And as I heard him tonight, he failed to convince me that he is serious about these amendments that we have voted on. My Lord, if this amendment, this motion from the Liberal Democrats was passed tonight, it would stop the other place considering the amendments on EEA nationals, EU nationals and on parliamentary sovereignty. Your Lordship's House was never told when voting on these amendments that at the final hurdle, the Liberal Democrats would say they will not support the very amendments that they've asked your Lordship's House to vote for. So, my Lords, to me, who is, I am very much committed to these two amendments, it shows a lack of commitment to these two amendments, these two issues, which to this House have been voted. And I take no longer vote. Right. The, I can hear some chanting from the party opposite. Let me say to you, if we really care about these amendments, if we, I'm not taking hectic, if we stand up and intervene if you want to, but don't heckle. If we really care about these amendments, we want them to go to the other place and we want the other place to debate them. Yeah. So, my Lord, how can we possibly ask MPs to vote for these amendments if this House is not prepared to pass those amendments and let the bill pass them to go to the other place. So, my lords, we believe in those amendments we supported. 
We respect the decisions taken by this House, and we respect and we thank our colleagues from all parties who supported them.